welcome to worship. Upworth United Methodist Church in Valley City is having a service here at Wesley Acres around the campfire. We're having a typical camp style worship. It means uh, some changes like no bulletin, but you'll be able to follow along on your screen. We're Paul and Brenda Lint, the site directors here at Wesley Acres, along with some of our crew. And we welcome you to worship with us. Before we begin, we'll say a couple of announcements for Epworth United Methodist Church. Uh, on this sun the next Sunday, July 26th from 4 to 7 p.m. is the men's drive through corn sale. And uh, that will be a great time. I know that we'll be driving by uh, to pick up our corn. At the same time... That's going to be a lot of corn. That It is a lot of corn. At the same time, United Methodist women are having a drive through bake sale featuring pies, cookies, and breads. Um, they welcome donations from everyone who would like to participate in this ministry. Uh, those Both of those events go to great ministry that happens in the church. So I invite you to join us in worship. Uh, we'll be uh, joining in a call to worship, but again, we're at campfire. So uh, for you to know your response, your response is, Comfort my people, says your God. God's people have been spread apart at many times throughout history. Yet in each of those times, God spoke comfort and hope to God's people. Comfort, comfort my, my people, people, says, says your God. God. We are called to gather together, but this feels so strange to gather to worship like this. Comfort, Comfort my people, says your God. That same God calls us to smooth the rough places in the world, that all may experience God's glory. But that work is daunting today. That work seems like too much today. Comfort, Comfort my people, says your God. God will lift you up both and strengthen you and give you time to renew so we join together in saying, Comfort, Comfort my people, says your God. And join with us as we sing, Down in the River to Pray. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, who shall wear the starry crown, good Lord, show me the way. in our opening prayer. Amazing, Amazing and everlasting, and everlasting God, God, we live in a world desperately crying out for your, your healing. Open us to the healing you offer in our own lives. Hear our prayers and our songs of thanksgiving for all you do for us. Open our eyes to see the world you love, the people you love, and the ways we can be healers. Open our ears to the voices crying out for justice, seeing mountains of injustice and valleys of anger and despair. Open our hearts to respond to the rough places in people's stories and journeys with words of hope and comfort. We speak to you and we listen and watch with anticipation for your kingdom come. Amen. Join us in singing, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King. Sweet, sweet sound 
Our first reading comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 1 through 5, and then we're going to skip to the end, 28 through 31. God invites Isaiah to speak these words, or to first hear these words. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak compassionately to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her compulsory service has ended, that her penalty has been paid, that she has received from her Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice crying out, Clear the Lord's way in the desert. Make a level highway in the wilderness for our God. Every valley will be raised up, and every mountain and hill will be flattened. Uneven ground will become level, and rough terrain a valley plain. The Lord's glory will appear, and all humanity will see it together. The Lord's mouth has commanded it. Don't you know? Haven't you heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He doesn't grow tired or weary. His understanding is beyond human reach, giving power to the tired and reviving the exhausted. Youths will become tired and weary. Young men will certainly stumble. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will fly up on wings like eagles. They will run and not be tired. They will walk and not be weary. Amen. Today, Pastor Paul is going to be talking about taking a break and talking about the people who help. One of my favorite quotes is by Fred Rogers, or as I knew him when I was little, Mr. Rogers. And he said whenever he saw something scary on the TV, his mother would say to him, look for the helpers. There's always helpers. Particularly this summer and this spring, when our life was turned a little bit upside down, it was important for us to remember to look for the helpers. It makes us not feel alone. It makes us not feel abandoned. But now, I want you to do something for me, and it's what God's calling us to do in these scriptures. God calls us that we need to care about those who care for us. When's the last time you did something nice for someone who takes care of you? Is it your parents, a doctor, a nurse, the people who bring your food to you? There's a lot of different people in our world that care for us. So today's assignment, I know it's like their school. Today's assignment is something to do all week, is look for the helpers and then let them know you care about them. Thank them. You could write a card, you could write a letter, you could make a sign and hang it somewhere. There's lots of things you could do. You could leave cookies in the mailbox. You could make cookies and deliver them to me. Oh, no, wait, that's not what I meant. Uh, you need to find the helpers in your life and let them know they're special and that you want to help take care of them. Will you pray with me? Dear God, Dear God, open my eyes. Open my eyes that I may see that I may see all of the helpers all of the helpers that help me that help me help me to remember help me to remember and do what I can and do what I can to say thank you to say thank you and we love you and we love you amen amen
The next scripture comes from Luke. It comes from the fifth chapter. Once, when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him, and he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest, and as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now, more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him, to be cured of their diseases. But he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with So may we find ourselves a holy and living sanctuary for our God. It is the right heart to have as you we prepare to open up and listen to the, the words of God to understand and unpack what God has for us. And I had thought that maybe I wanted to try to do something, I don't know, more creative at the campfire. Uh, where I have, you know, people act out or something like some of you who come to camp might see us do where we act out a scripture, or we act out a story. Uh, but someone really close to me said, maybe you need to preach this sermon and hear this sermon. So I invite you to hear a sermon that preaches to me, and hopefully preaches to you as well. As we gather tonight, tomorrow morning, or whatever morning that is for you, as we gather, we worry about our pastor, about Pastor Dane. And we wonder about how, how he's doing. And we think about others who have cared for us, people, the, not, the nurses and the doctors have cared for him and care for others. Um, the, our teachers who worked so hard to uh, get us through a school year uh, in such a new and different and weird way. Our, our, uh, our leaders in our government who are trying their best to figure out what it might be uh, in the next stage of life. And we worry about them, and we wonder about them, and we're concerned for them as they try to take care of us. Jesus, in his, his earthly ministry, spent a lot of time wandering around healing people, wandering around uh, hearing their stories and encouraging them back to health. But more than once it says that he went off to deserted places or lonely places or uh, to places apart where he could pray. And camp, Wesley Acres camp has been that place for me. When I was in the local church serving in churches, um, my way to take care of the caregiver was to go to camp. So many people this year are missing that. And we're missing that, but we get to be here. We get to experience it. 
But we need to find new ways to care for our caregivers. We need to find new ways to reach out to those who have poured themselves into keeping us healthy and keeping our world healthy um, and bringing us back to health. Isaiah got the joy of living through an entire crazy reality similar to our 2020. He got to experience the, the worst and the best of what it means to be the people of God. And in the middle of that, God says to him, God encourages him and helps him to speak words of comfort. Comfort, comfort my people, says, the, says your God. Comfort my people. Dane is someone who comforts us. My dad was someone who comforted me and many others. My family, the people who comfort me. They sometimes drive me crazy too, but they comfort me. The staff at Wesley Acres, the, the counselors, have spent their uh, summers trying their best to comfort and encourage people along on their journey. And this is a reminder. These scriptures where Jesus takes time apart where the people of God are reminded to be comforted, that we need to look to each other and see what we can do to help those people feel comforted, feel encouraged, feel like it's, it's okay that they're taking some time to grow in their own faith journey, taking some time to feel the love of God in their lives. I don't know what the rest of this summer will look like, I don't know what the fall will look like. But I know if we don't take our time when we're forced to be separated or forced to be doing things differently to take care of ourselves, we will not be as well, um, not be as good at our jobs come that next stage. So I pray for you. I pray for Pastor Dane and for Amy. I pray uh, for my dad and my mom who have been comforters for me on the journey, all the teachers out there as they prepare for the next year, I encourage you to take some time to be in God's presence. Let someone else take the lead right now. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. In response to God's word, in response to God's grace and God's love in our lives, and in response to God's comfort in our lives, um, we have many ways to respond. Um, the first way we're going to respond today, this morning, the first way we're going to respond um, is to respond as a community in prayer. Um, we called on ourselves uh, to be comforters to each other and comforters to the world. And so we start with our prayer concerns. Um, and at the end of each of those prayers, I do invite you to say, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are fighting cancer. I think especially of Sue Olson and Betty Jorison. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Those who are affected by COVID-19, Pastor Dane and family, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are healers in our world, for those who are taking on the task and the challenge of caring for those who are in the midst of COVID, in the midst of uh, struggle because of the COVID uh, reality around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Those that have lost loved ones, including Mavis Meyer's family, who we celebrated her life yesterday. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our educational community, for the administration, the staff, the parents, and the students. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We continue to pray for Reverend Howie Baird and his recovery. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Uh, for the glory of God ministries uh, and the ways that they are reaching into the community, 
uh, knowing that our We Love Washington School is going to need to be stepped up this year um, as they have new challenges. We say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those dealing with mental health concerns, um, exasperated by this, um, this isolation or this time of fear. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those dealing with the stress, um, with stress and economic instability during this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we invite special prayers for our camping program and the camp staff for all of our sites. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We also have joys. We also have wonderful things going on in our lives. Um, we, we lift up a successful blood drive last week with my talent. Um, our final report shows that we collected a total of 96 products, which exceeded their promise to local hospitals. Um, and 81 out of 91 volunteers were able to donate with seven giving blood for the first time and 15 giving double red, red blood, blood cells and one giving plasma. Lord, in our joy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Uh, we do lift up Pastor Dane as he is now out of the hospital and recuperating at home. We, re we lift up his, his healing and his health and his mental healing. Lord, in our joy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We lift up the joy of family time. Lord, in our joy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For sunshine, Lord, in our joy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for a new place to sit and enjoy a cup of coffee with six feet distance between our friends at the Holy Grounds Coffee House, Lord, in our joy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. There are so many more. Uh, prayers that we uh, have not gotten onto our list um, that you might be sharing in your hearts right now, that you might be texting right now to someone to say, hey, pray for these people. Um, and we take some time in silent prayer to remember those as well. God, you love us, you hold us, you comfort us, you walk with us in our yuckiest times, and you celebrate with us in our joys. In this strange time of our lives, in this strange uh, year of our lives, we thank you for being with us. For the times that we saw you in smiling eyes, the times that we saw you in someone who went out of their way to lift someone else up, the times that we felt you in our own hearts, stirring us on, encouraging us. For birthdays and anniversaries and for all those times to celebrate, no matter what the weird situation we're in, we thank you for those times, God. We pray for those who are not in our space with us. For those that we wish we could hold, we could hug, we could laugh with and joke around with. For those that we just miss. We ask that you pour joy and peace and comfort into their lives. but you, not, you unite us together anyway. You unite us around campfires. You unite us around coffee tables. You unite us uh, around a television. You unite us as we sit together. And you unite us as we pray together in the way that you taught us how to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Lord kingdom Lord. come, thy, thy will be done, Lord. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Join us in another way of responding uh, with a song, All God's People Said Amen. And a reminder that amen means let it be so. Let our prayers be real. Let it, let it change the world. You are not alone if you are lonely when you feel afraid. You're not the only. We are all the same in need of mercy to be forgiven and be free. It's all you got to lean on to make God. It's all you need. And all the people say. Join us in our breakthrough prayer. Dear, Dear God, God, unleash in us your bold, limitless spirit. Help us to break free from where we are and lead us to where you want us to go. Call us to risk. Call us to change. Call us to follow your good news. Amen. God's blessings are poured out upon you. God's comfort comes from your neighbors, comes from you to your neighbors. Be a part of God's comfort. Be a part of bringing healing to the healers. Amen. Amen. Amen.